Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Simon Cromer and today we're gonna to be comparing Jeskar Powerlock versus Stark Hyperhold. Guys, this video is gonna be amazing. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Let's dive into the video right now. Welcome back guys. Now, do I wanna make this video today? No, I don't really want to make this video. Do I feel in a tough spot to make this video? Yes, I kind of do. And the reason for that is because detailers out there have claimed uh, for these products to last a certain amount of time and they just simply don't. So a little disappointed in, you know, de high end detailers that I respect and a little disappointed on all the hype um, going into these things. And, you know, for me, I jumped on that train and I, you know, claimed this and this and that. And I am disappointed now and uh, I apologize to my customers or clients um, who maybe was expecting a little bit better protection um, from the claims uh, that they're just simply not getting. So I've talked to a lot of people. I've talked to detailers, talked to people who, you know, distribute the product and, you know, I get mixed feelings. Uh, I get people say, yes, you know, this last certain amount of time this lasts so long this is the best you know best sealant on the market this and that and i talked to other people who are kind of unsure like i am so guys i'm just going to share my experiences with you guys today and we're going to talk about the pros and cons of each product so jessica power lock stark hyperhold right off the bat let's take a look at the colors of these sealants so if you look at stark hyperhold it's a tannish white color um so there's that and then if you look at Jeskar, you'll notice that it's a bluish color so what does that mean? Honestly, guys, I have no idea. Um, I do look as, at one as a pro over the other, um, but I have no idea what that means in terms of protection or in terms of chemicals or bonding or anything like that. So that is beyond me. Um, I kind of just give you my practical experience. I don't know a whole lot of the science. I'd like to know more of the science and I'd like to dive in deeper. I think that's something I need to do. But right now I'm sharing my practical, you know, real life world application experiences with you guys on these products um, as I detail boats and restore them, okay? So let's go ahead and let's dive into the pros and the cons. Let's go ahead and talk about the pros of Jeskar Power Lock. So a pro of Jeskar Power Lock is that it has a good application process, meaning that you can cover a lot of area, you can cover a lot of gel coat before you need to come back and wipe off the product. So you're getting good working time. You can get up to a half hour or longer or less depending on the environment that you're in. If it's super hot and sunny out, you're gonna get less time. If it's cooler and colder out, um, then you can get longer time until you have to wipe off the excess product. So that is a, a pro of Jeskar Power Lock. Another pro is the protection is really good, guys. Um, you really have to appreciate the protection of Jeskar Power Lock you are getting five to six months of protection if you apply this product properly. Um, let's go ahead now and talk about the pros of Stark Hyperhold. So Stark Hyperhold, again, easy application. Uh, you get good amount of drying time, uh, almost similar to Jeskar. You can get a half hour, sunny days, maybe a little less, colder days a little longer. So good work time. Um, now a thing about Stark is it is super easy to wipe off no matter what environment you're in. So if you apply the product properly, you have the surface prep correctly, super easy to wipe off, guys. It'll be like wiping off dust off the boat. It's that easy. So that is a super pro for Stark Hyperhold. Um, and then the other pro that I look at actually personally is the color because it's tan, guys. Uh, the tan color is great. You're not gonna have to deal with any staining or anything turning different colors. Um, so I do appreciate that and I do look at that as a pro to the product. Now let's go ahead and talk about the negatives. So let's start with Stark Hyperhold. So a negative of Stark Hyperhold is that the protection, guys, the protection, you're getting three months, in my opinion, max out of this product. So when I look at these and I give you my experiences, um, I'm talking about full restoration experiences. Um, here's a thing to keep in mind. If I have a brand new boat and I put Stark Hyperhold on it or Jeskar Powerlock, that is going to last six months easily because the gel coat is fresh. It has zero oxidation and it's prepped and it's ready for that ultimate bond. So um, when we talk about full restoration, there's a lot of other issues. There's a lot of other factors that go into uh, the bonding because the gel coat is not fresh. It's not new. 
Um, it can have water in it. It can have all sorts of problems. So if I'm restoring a boat and I put Stark Hyperhold on the boat, so for example, if I do an 80s boat or a 90s boat, this product's gonna last three months max as a standalone sealant. So whereas Jeskar, if I restore a boat, this will last five to six months um, as a standalone, depending on, you know, the environment. If you're, you know, I'm in Ohio right now, but if you're in Florida and salt water, it could be a little different. So that is a negative of Stark Hyperhold. Other than that though, Stark Hyperhold doesn't really have any negatives other than the protection. Um, and I feel like that's because a lot of people were expecting more out of it. I was expecting more out of it. Yes, I'm disappointed. Um, and uh, I think people were expecting that closer to that five to six month range because people have claimed out there, this is the greatest, best thing ever. And unfortunately, it's just not, it's a really good sealant, but it's not the best. So we go to Jeskar, we talk about the negatives of Jeskar. Number one is the color is blue. So I've heard of a few experiences where you know, Jeskar has stained a boat a bluish color. My only question, and I've never ran into that, and I don't know many people who have, but my only question is, was the boat prepped properly? Was it free of oxidation? Um, was the application process right? So I haven't dealt with that, and I don't know if I would. Um, I don't really see that being a problem for me. I could see that being an issue with gel coat versus a paint, though. Um, but again, this is made, this is a strict, not strictly, but this was formulated for paints for cars. Uh, you know, Jeskar is a car detailing company, but the product works really good on boats. So a negative there, the other negative is it when it's super hot out and it's super sunny, this is harder to wipe off, okay? It's much harder to wipe off than Stark Hyperhold. So you're gonna be struggling a little more to wipe the product off. So you have to manage and uh, you have to be aware of that. And uh, you know, you really have to understand what's going on there because with Hyperhold, you can leave it out in the sun and it'll be okay to wipe off, no no issues there. So those are the pros and cons of each of the products. Um, next, I wanna jump into talking about which product you should use um, in certain situations. As a detailer, I have to go with the product that gives me more protection because I want the best for my clients. So guys, you're gonna see me using Jeskar Powerlock more moving forward. I jumped on Jeskar Powerlock for a little while um, I did a few boats with it, and then this whole entire summer, I've done multiple boats, 10 plus boats with Stark Hyperhold. So I jumped on that train and I was using straight all Stark Hyperhold throughout the summer. I did like that it wiped off easy in the sun, um, and I didn't know the protection wasn't going to live up to the hype that it was receiving. So um, you will see me go back to Jeskar as a detailer. Uh, does that mean Hyperhold is bad? You should never use it again? No, like I said, if you have a new boat, um, you, you know, Hyperhold will be fine. It's not gonna be bad. Um, I feel like this product is better for newer boats, whereas Jeskar can hand, handle and hang up longer, hold up longer on older boats that you're restoring. So guys, I restore these boats perfectly. Um, so I know there's no biases here. All three of the boats that I have Jeskar Power Lock on, I have checked on these boats within the last week or two. They are still holding up now. I did not mention this, but Stark Hyperhold does have better water beating properties than Jeskar. Jeskar is more of a water sheeting product. It takes slower to gather that water up into a bead, whereas Stark Hyperhold, right off the bat, it's gonna look like you ceramic coat your boat. So that is an advantage for Stark Hyperhold versus Jeskar, but Jeskar gets that protection in the end. So all three of those boats that I've detailed, guys, they still hold up to this day and free of oxidation 100%. Um, and then Stark Hyperhold I've used a lot, obviously, and a little disappointed. Uh, oxidation's coming back. Um, it came back pretty quickly. Uh, halfway through the summer, oxidized again. So that would mean I would have to do another application. Whether I put on Stark uh, Replenish, which is the SiO2 spray, that doesn't seem to help a whole lot. It might give you a couple extra weeks, but in the long term, um, speaking of a standalone sealant, Jeskar is that better product. So like I said, that's up to you guys. Newer boats, Hyperhold, not a bad option. Older boats that you're restoring, you want more protection. Uh, the gel coats are not as new. They're not as readily able to bond as good. Um, Jeskar Powerlock. Uh, I do want to mention one thing. Like I said, I'm going to be using Jeskar more. Um, now, Jeskar came out with a newer product recently called Jeskar Ultra Lock Plus. So this is supposed to be a better version of the normal Jeskar, which is already good. So 
the thing you can expect with his newer product, which I've seen it in real person and I've seen the water beads, this gives you those water beads of hyper hold. Now, the only thing we have to ask is, does it hold up like the original Jeskar? So you will see me using the, both of these products more. Um, I haven't really used them a whole lot in the sunlight, so I don't know if that's gonna be a serious issue or not. But at the end of the day, I have to find the products that last me longer for protection, guys. Protection, protection, protection is key. Uh, again, this video kind of puts me in a tough spot. Stark Yacht Care has been amazing to me. The CEO, John, has been amazing. He wants, truly wants the best. Um, and I feel like, you know, he he doesn't overclaim anything. It's it's the other detailers and people selling the products that do this, okay? So John is a great guy. He um, doesn't oversell anything. It's just the hype that the detailers built up. Um, and he doesn't really have too much control over that. So Stark is still amazing. Just because I don't like one of their products doesn't mean I don't like other products, guys. I love Stark Level R. It's a game-changing compound um, when used in the right situations. The ceramic coatings, super easy to work with. Um, you know, the ceramic coating liquid door, it's just such a unique ceramic coating that you don't find ceramic coatings like that on the market. So Stark has a lot of amazing products, guys. They have a full lineup of products. They have so many products. So, you know, the odds and chances I'm gonna like every single one are very slim, okay? I still support Stark 100%. I still buy a lot of Stark products but you probably will see me fading away a little bit from Hyperhold because I am into that full restoration business. I re fully restore boats a lot. So if I'm doing that, I have to go with Jeskar. If I'm working, if I have the opportunity to work on newer boats, um, you might see me go back to Hyperhold because of that easy application and wipe off process. So um, like I said, I wanted to kind of share this with you guys, just get ideas out there, uh, get my opinions out there. Nobody's really talked about this. Um, and like I said, I've talked to multiple people, not sharing any names, and there's a lot of mixed feelings going on. So, uh, yeah, I just had to share this, guys, and be super transparent with you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a comment. I want to hear your thoughts below. If you're a detailer boat owner, you've used any of these products, let me know your thoughts below. Also, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button now. Be sure to leave a like. Be sure to share it to other people if you think this video could help other people. And guys, I will see you on the next video. Peace out.